Don't buy a Windows key. If you already have one, it's been a while since I made video about Windows 7 key and completely to be honest, it's not so popular. Today, I will give you more updates about this topic. So let's get started. As you can see, I have two laptops and today we don't going to talk about specification or something like that. We're going to talk about differences in Windows key. This laptop since 2013 and the second one since 2013. 18. But both of these laptops have Windows key. Let's take a close look at the older model. Quickly explanation. Behind the battery of the laptop, in most cases, you can find a Windows key. Quite old Windows key. It could be Windows 7 Home, Windows 7 Pro, Windows 7 Education. For example, I have Windows 7 Pro key. So that's mean I can activate Windows 8, Windows 8.1, Windows 10 and Windows 11 as well using this old key. And don't worry, it's not illegal. You can activate all the keys. And from my own experience, I can say that there is no problem with activating Windows 7 key on Windows 11 system. If you have such a problem, I recommend to activate Windows 10 by using Windows 7 key and then upgrade to Windows 11. Probably this is the easiest solution. If you want to know, can you activate one Windows key on different laptops or PC? The correct answer is probably yes and no because it will depend on your Windows key. There is different type of Windows key, which can be activated on multi-system and some keys can be activated only on one entire system. So it will depend on your Windows key. I hope it was not complicated if we're talking about Windows keys, which you can find on the case of the laptop or behind the battery. And of course, you need to understand if you have a Windows 7 Pro key, then as a final result, you will get Windows 10 Pro or Windows 11 Pro. You cannot get Windows Home if you have Windows Pro and at the same time you cannot get Windows Pro if you have Windows Home. But I recommend to talk about the second types of Windows key, quite popular type. I mean keys which are embedded in BIOS. Simply to understand, in most cases, if you see such a sticker, that means the laptop already has a Windows key embedded in the BIOS. Actually, it's not necessary to know which key do you have, because in the installation process, it will just keep the moment when you need to enter a Windows key. Everything is very simple, you just need to download and install Windows 10 or 11, and it will automatically activate windows and that's all. Also I want to notice that stickers can be different. Sticker can be with Windows 8.1 logo, Windows 10 logo. In my case I have Windows 10 logo. Actually it doesn't make a big difference. You can activate Windows. Purely as a bonus I will show you how to check your Windows key using command prompt if the Windows key embedded in the BIOS. All the process is very simple. Okay let's get into it. We are in the Windows. In my case Windows 10 Pro also it will work on Windows 11 as well. What we need to do, we need to copy this command. I will leave this command in the video description. Now we need to click here and type PowerShell. So we can click run as administrator. Now we need to enter a command that we previously copied. So for this, we can hit Ctrl plus V and press enter. And that's the moment when magic come in. After this process, here you will see your Windows key. Of course, I hide my Windows key, sorry, but I'm not ready to share Windows key with all people on the internet. So guys, if this video was useful for you, please like it. And I recommend watching this video, how to make Windows 11 super light with RevOS.